What's hiding in your mouth and showing as gum bleeding can be the sign of many other oral and medical conditions. Today I'm going to talk about the main reasons for gum bleeding and natural and integrative home remedies with no toxic chemicals, no preservative, and no conventional solution for it. I'm Dr. Maryam Horiat, a holistic and biological dentist at Aria Dental, where we provide a variety of holistic dental services from preventative dentistry to full mouth reconstruction, cosmetic, metal free zirconia dental implant, TMJ, sleep apnea, and airways for all ages in South Orange County, California. First, let's talk about some of the most common root causes of gum bleeding and then the natural home remedies for each source before your gum bleeding leads to uncontrolled gingivitis, periodontitis, and ultimately many other overall health issues such as heart and coronary artery disease, diabetes, stroke, teeth loss and bone loss, premature weight babies in pregnant women, autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, respiratory disease such as bacterial pneumonia and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, neurodegenerative conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, and even cancer. Data shows a link between gum disease and breast and oral and esophageal cancer. The root causes of gum bleeding are usually divided in two main categories. Number one is plaque-induced gum bleeding, and number two is a non-plaque-induced gum bleeding. Plaque-induced gum bleeding means that gum bleeding is mainly caused by bacteria in oral plaque. Non-plaque-induced gum bleeding means issues other than plaque is the main reason for gum bleeding, but plaque worsens the conditions. Plaque-induced gum bleeding is the most common for gum bleeding and is mostly triggered by poor oral hygiene, brushing, flossing technique, and ultimately aggressive bacterial infection. Remember, gum bleeding and gum disease are not about how much plaque you have around your teeth. It depends on the type of a bacteria and how aggressive these bacteria are and your own body immune response to these oral bacteria. Non-plaque-induced gum bleeding can be caused by many reasons. I'm going to start with the one that most conventional dentists don't talk about it, non-biocompatible and toxic dental materials. For example, the metals in titanium dental implants can activate the immune response and cause allergic reaction and gum bleeding around the dental implant in some patients. The solution is, instead of using titanium dental implant, is to see a holistic and biological dentist and ask for metal-free zirconia or ceramic dental implants. Another example is a non-biocompatible dental material as simple as white composite filling, bonds, porcelain crowns and veneers. There are many different materials in dentistry that your body might not be compatible with. The solution is ask your dentist for a biocompatible dental material test. The fact is that most conventional dentists don't know anything about this test. If that is the case, then see a holistic dentist to have a dental material biocompatibility test. Another common example is toxic heavy metals of mercury, copper, cadmium, chromium, lead, and nickel in amalgam silver fillings, metal crowns, and dental partials or dentures. The solution is to stay away from any dental materials with metals. Remember, many healthier non-metal options and alternatives exist. Look into it. Besides, BPA or plastic substances in dental and orthodontic appliances can cause an immune response and gum bleeding. The solution is ask questions from your dentist about BPAs. Remember, many BPA-free dental material exists. Just look into it and look for your choices. Now let's talk about other important non-plaque-induced gum bleeding 
by systemic health issues. Number one, underlying medical conditions such as diabetes, low platelet count in blood or thrombocytopenia, hemophilia, and liver disease such as cirrhosis are directly related to gum inflammation and gum bleeding. The solution is to consult with your medical doctors, naturopath, and functional medicines for comprehensive evaluation. Number two, many cancers, especially leukemia and lymphoma, can manifest themselves as acute gum bleeding. Solution is to see your doctor and ask for your comprehensive blood test and evaluation. Number three, vitamin deficiency. Mainly vitamin C is associated with gum bleeding, but vitamin deficiency in B12, vitamin B3, and vitamin D also play important roles in gum bleeding. The solution is simple blood test. Number four, autoimmune diseases such as lupus, Crohn's disease, Sjogren's disease, and scleroderma will manifest orally as acute or even chronic gum bleeding. The solution is don't forget to discuss your autoimmune disease with your holistic and biological dentist. Number five, pregnancy and hormonal imbalance or hormone fluctuation can cause transient or chronic gum bleeding. The solution is a good home care and dental hygiene appointment adjunct with laser and ozone treatment are the key consideration to overcoming your gum bleeding. Number six, certain medications, many depression and anxiety medications, antihistamines, and blood pressure medication could cause gum bleeding and gingivitis. Blood thinners, even taking daily aspirin, can also be the cause of gum bleeding. The solution is, ask your doctor for alternative medicines. If there is no alternative medicine, then improve your oral home care and see your holistic and biological dentist and hygienist more frequently. Number seven, STD or sexually transmitted disease such as syphilis, HIV, and gonorrhea manifest orally as gum bleeding. The solution is to get tested if you have a doubt. Number eight, poorly fitted dentures, partial dentures, or orthodontic appliances can lead to chronic gum bleeding. The solution is don't forget to visit your dentist for corrections and adjustment. Number nine, improper placements of dental restorations like crowns, veneers, or dental filling can cause localized gum bleeding. The solution is to see your dentist as soon as possible. Number 10, trauma to gum by sharp food particles like pieces of chips, popcorns, and nuts, or sharp objects like toothbrushes may cause gum bleeding. This is a common factor, but very easy to repair, and you could rely on self-healing. Another solution is to avoid chewing any hard or sharp foods and keep up with your good oral hygiene at home until your gum bleeding resolve on its own. Number 11, teeth grinding and clenching. The solution is see your dentist to find the root cause of your teeth grinding or clenching. Also make sure your airways, mouth breathing, sleep apnea, and snoring can be tested. Number 12, stress. Who doesn't have stress? All right. Make sure you reduce other factors and mainly improve oral hygiene to make sure that stress doesn't become a main factor for your gum bleeding. Natural home remedies for gum bleeding. Although the root cause of a non-plaque induced gum bleeding is not necessarily oral bacteria or plaque, still make sure you use the following home remedies to prevent plaque from intensifying your non-plaque induced gum bleeding regardless of plaque or non-plaque induced gum bleeding. Now let's talk about home remedies. Number one, if you have oral or gum pain that limits you from good oral hygiene, use clove oil. Don't forget to use a carrier oil or dilute your clove oil with other oils like coconut oil and apply it directly on the area of gum pain. Then follow with a good brushing and flossing technique. Number two, if your gum is too inflamed and bleeds a lot, 
apply turmeric paste. Turmeric has natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effect. Use one teaspoon of turmeric and mix it with a little water until you make a paste. Apply this paste on your affected gum area and leave it on for five minutes. Make sure you rub it on your gum using gentle motion. You could also use honey instead of water to make a sticky paste that lasts longer around your gum. Then use a proper brushing with a soft toothbrushes and good flossing technique. Then use water pick to eliminate any residues. Use half water and half 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide instead of using alcohol-based conventional mouthwash. This can help reduce both swelling and bleeding in your gum. One other great antibacterial effect is using colloidal silver, ionic silver, or nano silver. Silver has amazing effect in inhibiting bacterial biofilm formation. Rinse your mouth with silver, you will be surprised by its effect. After these steps are completed, don't forget oil pulling. Oil pulling, especially with coconut oil, is a very effective way to ease inflammation because of its effect on reductions of bacteria contributing to gum bleeding and inflammation. If you have performed it all and your gum bleeding persists, please contact your biological and holistic dentist and search for its root cause. The key is to find the root cause of gum bleeding to find a proper and efficient treatment. Hope you find this video helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos about oral tips and oral health. Thank you.